This is a very experimental dough. This is a flour that I know absorbs a lot of water. So I decided to really go for it. <laughs> so this has got the same amount of water as flour. So 500 grams of flour, 500 grams of water. If you're into terminology, that would make it 100% hydration dough. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see what it does. It's beautiful. It's got lots of beautiful texture in it. Um, but I think it's going to be a challenge, so we shall see. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. It's very, very bouncy. Very, very bouncy. Um, it's not necessarily wanting to come together into anything particularly firm and structured. It smells amazing. This is beautiful flower. This is a flower that's grown and milled locally to me, Mrs. Middleton's flower. <laughs> uh, it's not going to knit together too well. So I'm going to do what I can and then pick it up to go into a Benetton. Because it's just going to keep on doing the same. So. Let's get it into the banneton and we'll see what the banneton does for it. Look at that. In it goes. Right, I'm going to move it around and make sure it's got lots of rice flour. Because there's every chance it's going to stick. And we will see what happens later when I turn it out. <laughs> there's every chance it's just going to spread. You never know, do you? You never know what you're going to get. So why not have a go, I say? We'll see you later. Here we are. Here's my very soft 100 hydration, 100% 100 hydration dough. So let's see what it does. Let's see if the fridge has done its thing. Okay, it's not just turned into a slop. So let's give that one long single score. Starting to spread a little bit, but we'll see. In it goes. So here we go. Let's see this loaf. <coughs> Look at that. Look at that beauty. So there we go. This, I did this on purpose. I did this to prove that percentages, hydration percentages, are just not worth worrying about. Because unless we're all using the same flour, a hydration percentage means nothing. All a hydration percentage is, is how much water you're using compared to how much flour is in your dough. And unless we're all using the same flour, it's not worth trying to work to a percentage and compare what you're creating with others. I don't believe in comparing anyway. But the point is, some flowers need less water, some flowers need more. This flower can take more water. So that doesn't mean that I would now be posting going, woohoo, I've made 100% hydration loaf, look at me. Because it's pointless. It just means that this flower works better or works well with more water than others. So I'm happy with that. And I hope you found it useful and interesting. Happy baking.